Today, uh, this Saturday's Tea Time, we are answering a philosophical question, or at least I'm proposing it. I don't know if there'll be any answers, but is peanut butter and jelly an adult tea sandwich? I specify adult because I have seen it proposed on uh, menus for children's tea parties, but I haven't seen it for any teas that are aimed especially for adults. And then, what tea do you pair with it? Um, because PBJ is very sweet, I personally, as someone who likes contrast, would lean towards something not sweet. Um, I might lean for like a breakfast tea, honestly, but I'm kind of out of those and I also haven't restocked because Midwest tea, Midwest tea Festival is next Saturday and I'm planning on just buying a ton of tea then. So uh, what I did decide to make was this Four Seasons Oolong from that I got from the steeping room uh, in Austin, Texas. To me, it is like a classic prototypical oolong. Look at how beautiful and coiled those leaves are. To me, when I smell this, this really just, to me, that is, that is oolong. So I think it'll be a nice pairing. Uh, I'm going with wheat bread today. Um, I might have liked to do a soft, like fluffy bread, uh, but I am out, so it was either sourdough and, oh my god, the last of my jam has gone bad. Uh, I've switched up from a classic strawberry jam to a peach, mini peach bon jam that I think will be super duper lovely. PBJ is a very classic American sandwich, but it is not a classic tea sandwich. Peanut butter is not that common outside of the United States. PBJ just has sort of many of the hallmarks of a standard tea sandwich. So what do we think about when we think of like a, a classic tea sandwich? Um, cucumber with butter or cream cheese, um, a maybe a curry chicken salad or a little bit of a tuna salad. Uh, so sandwiches that lean toward the spread end of the spectrum. That's obviously not always true. Like when I was in London, I had some just incredible roast beef tea, tea sandwiches. Uh, many classic tea sandwiches are sort of spread heavy. And that's why I think PBJ does suffice. So yes, my peanut butter to jelly ratio is like two to one. All right, tea has been poured. It smells like a straight up beautiful oolong. Visually, I think it has a little bit more of like a green tea vibe going with it. Um, but when it hits my nose, I just think classic oolong all the way. So I think this the, calling it Four Seasons Oolong is perfect because I taste this and it is so light. Um, something that could really work well in spring or summer. And it also has some sort of spicy notes to it. Um, a little bit of like an undertaste of cinnamon. Mm. I have made it just the way I like it. PB&J is such a preferential thing. Yeah, honestly, like this and the tea are really actually playing well together. I was a little concerned because this is a fairly light oolong. But actually when I pair it with the sandwich, the um, the spiciness shines through a little more. This sandwich is actually really augmenting this tea, and I think it is because this tea is not bitter, but it's also definitely not sweet. I'm gonna vote that PB&J does belong in the adult tea sandwich repertoire. I'm not gonna expect to go to a, a tea room in England and see PB&J on the menu, ever. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Us Americans who do things differently anyway, I think we can put PBJ on the adult tea table. But if you disagree, let me know.